Lord. Okay. Morning, morning. I do have some some wire Wi-Fi issues in the garden, so hopefully it's coming in okay. It's sometimes it's medium. Um, we're gonna do 15 minutes and I'm gonna tack on another 15. So I'll look at the clock and I'll cue people when we've hit the 15 um, mark. And then um, if you guys wanna stay on and do the full half an hour, it'll be here for you. Okay, so we're gonna get started. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna come. Um, I don't know if it helps you if you have the capacity to splay your mat in the direction I am. Um, and if you don't, obviously you work with what you've got, but if you have the ability to go long ways, so we're at the same, um, set yourself up and we'll come up to the top of our mat. We're gonna bend our knees. And today we're going to work through our sun salutations in slow motion. Okay, and then towards the end, we'll just pick that pace up. Okay, so let's breathe and reach out. and let it out on the out breath. So very simple. So let's move through a few of these. And as we do, you'll tune in by noticing your breathing. And tune in by noticing your grounding elements. At this point, it's your feet. So notice, and you take this in your own pace. And then we're going to start to add some more space into this um, inhale, exhale. So inhale, hold the inhale for the count of three. Exhale, hold the in, uh, exhale for the count of three. So you can explore what that space feels like to reside. And depending on what your breath feels like today, that count might be one, two, three, or it might be one, two, three. So think there's no instruction there. It's your instruction. Good. Good, feel your feet grounding. So there's this feeling of Exhale, sort of bending the knees and melting your way into the ground. And as you breathe in, the legs begin to straighten and the body rises up from the feet. And let's take our gaze to look up towards our hands. And then as you breathe out, you come to a neutral gaze. We're gonna do three more of those and at the final exhale, we'll fold in half. So let's all time this inhale and reach for the count of three, we'll pause. And when you're ready, when you're ready, and pause. Draw the breath in smoothly, evenly. Turn to look up. And this is our third and final one. We're gonna bend in half as we exhale. So first hold the inhale, lengthen up towards the sky. Now open your eyes, look up. Okay, soften your knees and dive down until your fingertips reach the floor. Fingertips reach the floor. So you have to bend your knees to get there. Some of you drop your head and feel it hang. Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna breathe in and we're gonna walk our hands or slide them up to our kneecaps and sit into our little invisible chair. Breathing in, hold. Breathing out, push the breath out, drop, straightening the legs. <clears throat> so it's the same thing, but it's like a halfway version of standing. Breathing in, so you push into the ground, but the knees bend. And then as you breathe out, you pour yourself in. Let's do one more of those. And then we're going to add the leg coming back into lunge. So breathe in. Remember to hold on the inhale at the top. 
and then exhale, fold in half, and then you hold that. And then you go like you're sitting into a chair as you inhale, but the left leg <clears throat> goes far back. Drop the knee. And then push into the front foot. Let the arms rise up. And exhale. We're going to swim the arms through and bow our head in, looking towards that back knee. And we're going to do that two more times. Breathe in. Now our contact points, our earthing points, are the front foot, the knee, and the back toes. Let's do that one more time. Now push into all those three areas. Push down, ground down, and rise up. Hold the in-breath. Exhale, hands come down, the back knee lifts. Okay, as you inhale, you step forward and you're in that chair. There's our inhale. And that might be here as well, a little bit higher. And then we're gonna take our out breath and carry that right leg back and drop the knee. There's our contact points, toes tucked under, back knee, front foot, inhale, push through those areas, rise. Three breaths. Now let's remember to hold for the count of three at the top. Lengthen, reach, explore. And then our hands come down. This time we're going to step back. Step back, take your time. When you're there, drop your knees and bring the tops of your feet down. So toenails are pressing into the floor. And then as you breathe in, you drop your hips and you look forwards. And then as you exhale, draw the belly button in and push into your hands, stretch back. So it's like child's pose. But because your knees are closer together, your head might not reach the floor. So we're going to ripple the spine forward and inhale. Now exhale, pull the belly in. And that's going to open your lower back. So feel that. And we're going to move through four more of those. So in total six. Spine comes forwards. The hands are engaged. Pause. And then exhale, belly button pulls in and the hands push you back. Good, make this energetic. So pull yourself through, ripple forwards. And push yourself back. Feel the wave-like motion of your body. And these last two. On this last one, we'll add that space. Breathe in. Breathe all the way in. Give your hands a push. Hold that third count. Feel your hands. And then really, like you're blowing out a distant candle, push the breath out and stretch back and stay back here. Now, my knees are under my hips, so my head's not on the floor. We're not looking to get our head on the floor. We're tucking our chin under and straightening the elbows. Good, now <clears throat> move the weight into your fingertips and the, the palms can almost come off the mat. Squeeze the elbows so that your arms are not on the floor and then let the hands, palms come down but keep the arms engaged. Good, spend one breath inhaling here and exhaling. And maybe you can pick up on that bumblebee <laughs> over my head, buzzing about. We're going to lift up and we're going to tuck our toes under and prepare for uh, three of our down dogs. This is where we start to really encourage the breath to fire us up because things start moving in your entire body. So you'll feel the heat. Now tuck your chin towards your chest, squeeze your elbows, your hands become your feet. So ground your hands. And when you're ready, inhale, the knees rise up, the hips are back, 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 
inhale up. Now let's hold this first one. Inhale up, look back, and your elbows are not bent. Okay, if you're looking back and your heels are lifted, that's okay. Eventually they'll come down in time. Okay, so for the next out breath, you're gonna keep your hips back and bend your knees so there's nothing coming forward. Okay, bend your knees, keep your toes tucked under, drop your knees, sit back. So when you come up, don't shift your torso forwards, okay? So as you come up, your torso from the belly button up doesn't move, it's harder. Okay, knees rise, and, but that's the correction that will bring you into a really nice down dog. As you come to the very top, squeeze your thigh muscles, and then exhale. Think about your shoulders staying put. They really do, so the hands have to press and keep your hips back. We're gonna do one more of those. Elbows squeezing. Inhale up. Squeeze your elbows, hold. Two, three. Good, drop your knees, keep your toes tucked under. We're gonna walk our hands back. And walk back so you're sitting on your lifted heels and this might be just too much for people so i'm on low battery mode <clears throat> so if it is too much on your feet come onto your toenail side we're not spending much time here we're going to just let our wrists have a break interlace your hands and reach them up stretch up and look up at your hands good now twist over to one side and look over that shoulder. And then take it over to the other side. Good. Breathe in, lift up, look up. And then we're gonna let it out. Okay, hopefully your wrists have a little bit of a breather. Okay, so come back up into your down dog without a rush. Lift the knees, rise up, look back. Okay, so that same sort of concept of moving through with the breath in threes. Squeeze your elbows, align your dog, get ready. You're gonna look forwards and we're gonna come into plank with a really straight back. So first, firm your buttocks muscles. So you're hugging your hip bones together and you look between your hands. Okay, the first version is heels lift, knees come down and you're in tabletop. That's an inhale. And then the exhale is a push into the hands and stretch back. That's for lower back issues or if you're having a tired morning, taking it easy. Look forward, version two, full pose. Lift your heels, same. We're just not bringing the knees down. Hug your buttocks muscles, hips in, drop your hips. You now you have to find that place where you're not sagging and then lift your gaze. And then exhale, push back. Okay, let's do two more of those. Heels lift, gaze comes forwards, spine ripples forwards. And then exhale back. Can you feel your belly muscles helping? Lift the heels, engage the legs, think your hips squeeze together. Now look forwards and come forwards. And keep looking forwards. Hold, two, three, Hips rise, push your hands, stretch back. Good, hold this for one breath and then we're gonna walk our hands back. If you're ready to do that, go for it. Stay here for another breath. Okay, walking your hands back towards your feet. So hands back. And take that forward fold. Now have a notice, you've been a dog and now you're in a forward fold. Now we're gonna grab our elbows. These are both inversions. Okay, so when we come out, we take our time. Okay, so let your torso hang and twist yourself over to one side. It's like you're bringing that same side elbow towards in line with that, um, that side foot. And then you're twisting over to the other side. And maybe you notice a range of movement difference on each side. Come back to the center. Now soften behind the knees. Let your hands just hang. Okay, find your fingertips 
at your toes and soften your shoulders down your back. Okay, let your hands come up your legs. Here's that chair. This is a lovely way to transition for your blood pressure. So pause here. We'll bring our hands into prayer. Okay, and then you feel your feet. All right, we're gonna come to rise up after this, this breath. So breathe in. Good, take advantage of this lovely heated pose, Utkatasana chair, breathing out. Now we're gonna ground our feet and press them into the earth and rise up, inhale up. The big explosion, let it out. And then exhale, arms to your sides. Okay, now you should have ended up at the back of your mat. If you haven't, I didn't see you, so just step back. Okay, so feet are hip width apart. Now let's come into a sun salutation, one of these. Breathe in, reach up. And hold it for three. Okay, soften the knees and fold in half as you exhale. This time, we're gonna slide forwards. Okay, so often slide, you may need to walk depending on how sticky your mat is, and the legs straighten. So I've brought us right back to where we were. This is us ending here. So let's drop our knees out wide, bring the big toes to touch, pause in child's pose. That's 15 minutes for some of you. You can stop with the hands in prayer behind your head like I'm doing, pausing for that closing of 15 minutes for your morning if you're leaving. Have a lovely rest of your day. Um, and if you're leaving and if you haven't left yet, I'm gonna continue to do a little bit longer classes, just adding on to the back of these. Wednesdays, if a maybe, because the kids are all home. But Okay, so <clears throat> when you're ready, if you're staying around, fantastic. You're gonna come back into that dog. So remember, when you come back up, the tendency is, if, you're, if you have me on a big screen, you can look. The tendency is to shift the weight forward, lift the knees up, and then push yourself back. But what you want to do is keep yourself back, press your hands, and do you notice the difference there? There's no shifting weight. Okay, so take yourself stronger. Soften your heels. See if you can gain any more access towards the floor by just acknowledging that they're lifted. Sometimes they just lower if you tell them to. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna repeat what we did and we're gonna make it a bit stronger. It's gonna be a bit more about our core. So with your right foot, look at your right foot. You're gonna uh, lift it behind you so it comes away from the mat and it's about as length of um, parallel with your hip. So we're not going high. We're going parallel to your hip or the floor. Okay, look forwards. Version one. Come forwards with a knee down. Okay, the, here's the hands. They push me back. And that's where the leg can come a little higher. Version two, one-legged plank. So hug your hips. Use your hands. Push back. Stretch back. Okay, we're going to do two more. The first one was a demo. Breathe in. Hug into your midline, hug, 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 and push back. <sighs> Last one. Everybody's got the power. Good. Let it shine through. Be bright. Hold. Two, three, and push back. <sighs> and now look, a one-legged dog is like a relief. How does that happen? <laughs> There's a relationship change with these poses. Change sides. Inhale, left leg. Okay, we did four on that first side for a demo. So we're gonna do this knee down version. Inhaling forwards. And use your hands to push back. Okay, and there's where the leg can go higher. Okay, look forwards. Inhale, hug into your midline. And push back. See if you can attain this feeling of a flow. The feeling of grounding strength from the earth's support. This is us finishing up. Inhale. Exhale. Ah. Good. And then drop that foot. 
bring your feet so they're in a wide down dog. Bend your knees. That's the one. And we're going to walk our hands back. Walk them back. Okay, and this time, we're in this little frog squat. So you might need to come wider. You can modify. Here we are. We're going to come with our hands in prayer. Just a little balance. If you really don't like a balance, this is a totally acceptable. You can be here. Okay. So right away, I have to notice my shoulders. So you want to do this. Open up your front body. Okay. Press your hands strongly together. And this is where we're going to root down to rise up. Okay. And that happens on an in-breath. So when you're breathing in, push your feet down and rise up. Rise up and let it all out. Isn't that nice? So I'm going to widen my stance a little bit more. My hands together. I'm going to bend my knees. Okay, actually for a moment here, you can bring your hands to your inner thighs. These are called your adductor muscles. Bring them in and you encourage them to open, right? Bend. Open these. Right? Open. Open. And we're going to do this. We're going to feel our collarbone. And you're going to keep moving that fingertip to the edge of your shoulder, outside edge. And you're encouraging this to open. And then from there, we reach out. Now the legs are staying like this. So reach out. Elbows are squeezing and palms come up. Okay, here we go. So we're going to bend down a little lower. And then as you breathe in, we're going to go as if you're clapping. And then exhale. Okay, this is a slow movement at first, and then we're going to speed it up. So let's do one more. Breathing throughout. Okay, so let's encourage the breath. It's smaller breaths, but stronger and faster. So it's We're going to do a few of these and then we're going to stop the legs. What feels nice here is engaging the foot. So come off the heels. And then you can try to come off the toes. It's hard. Feel the outer edges of your feet. Okay, so for this next minute, we're going to stop the legs. So here we go. Stop the legs and then bend. And then the arms. But feel the feet. This is a minute. So the breath is a, through the mouth. If you need to focus, close your eyes. Good. You can have your eyes opened and imagine your third eye, your eye of wisdom. The two eyes look out and your eye of wisdom looks back in. Good, your eye of intellect. There it is. That's us. Over halfway. Oh, there's my clock going funky. Oh, dear. Might end up being a minute and a half. I'm going to finish this up in the last five, four, three, two, one. Good. Can you hold it? Spread the arms, spread the fingers, and then breathe in. Breathe out. And then straighten the legs. Now you know where your legs are. There's one. There's the other. Good. Flick out your feet. I know it can be quite a challenge, but isn't that lovely? Your body's life. Okay, now it's changed. Good. Okay, lovely. Now, <clears throat> to finish, I need to make sure that my clock isn't... Do we have about five minutes? Yeah? Okay. We're going to come <clears throat> into a little balance. And at any time there's a wall there, you can wiggle over to the wall and hold it because we're here. Okay. And if you're just a person that doesn't want to balance today, then you can remove that aspect. Okay. So we're going to lift our left leg. Okay, lift it up. And then we're going to bring it back like we're coming into a big lunge. Okay, so let it go. Bend the standing leg. Step back. Okay, let's keep this back knee lifted. Okay.
Okay, so <clears throat> bring your hands to your hips, open your chest, and we'll take a little bounce with the intention of feeling the earth under our feet. So it's a push and a rise. Okay, now feel your, your midline, right? Hug into it. So it's like engaging your bum muscles in. And really what it's doing is moving your bones together. And then you're gonna rise up and hold that lunge. Get one breath. Hmm? What happened? And then coming out. Screen's funny. Oh, my, I'm back. Oh, somebody's running, kids are running, good. <laughs> I think I disappeared, but hopefully you heard me. And then you're gonna change sides. Hug in. So this is our opposite leg. Now we're gonna send it back into a lunge. Send it back. Okay, nice stretch. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Okay, if you can't see me, sorry. Oh, here. I know why. Because I'm on low battery mode because my phone is a Minecraft device <laughs> for the ones that wake up at six in the morning. Okay, so we're changing sides, stepping back, holding that lunge, okay, bouncing into it, grounding, root to rise. Good, feel your midline, hug into that place. So it's not a squeeze, you're not gripping, you're drawing energy in, and eventually you'll feel that coming out of your fingertips, rising up. Good, get ready to step that back foot in and we try to get that little balance again. Notice if it feels differently. Uh, good, and then we're gonna let go. Um, <clears throat> so from there, we did some work in that, that, um, that uh, stretch we did with a breathing exercise. So we're gonna take this into another stretch in the legs. We're gonna grab our foot another place to use the wall if you need it. Grab the foot, okay? Doesn't matter which side you're grabbing it from, just grab the outside edge of your foot. Pull the shoulder back, and then you kick that foot into your hand, and you can feel that. Kick the foot, let the shoulder pull away from the shoulder socket. Kick, kick, the other hand can free up and rise up. So we're not going for theatrics here, we're feeling the grounding. So don't worry about going forward unless you really want to go for it. Okay, energize your toes on that back foot. So spread them apart. Lift your gaze. That's it, hug into your midline. Good, come back in. There's our bin men. <laughs> bin men are here. Change sides. So in order to see what I'm talking about, you want to grab the outer edge of your foot. Okay, hug into your midline. Get ready to kick the foot into your hand. Kick, pull the shoulder back, kick, reach up, keep that kicking. And you want to ground. You want to hug into your midline, ground. What's most important in a balance isn't to keep balanced and upright. It's to keep and maintain your breathing in a balanced fashion. Breathing through. I think it's also to notice the little shifts and movements in your body. Some oops, breathe. And release. That's the one. Good. Come back into the center. You can just rock in your hips side to side. Okay, yeah, feeling your feet. Now turn your feet out. Change your shape. And start to make your way towards the top of your mat, back into this lunge shape. This is a really good stretch if anyone's going running. Good change to the other side. Little lunge, pushing into the feet. 
when you push into your feet, you're, you're throwing your center of balance forward and back. It's quite interesting. You feel your whole body there, okay? And when you're ready, come back into the center. We're gonna now bring our feet to finish together to get a sense of this midline. So the muscles, the bones, everything draws in here. We'll bring our hands into prayer and there's an energetic press. So really feet each other. Stand up tall, hug into your midline and let it radiate through here in your heart. So let that space draw all this energy into that one area right at your heart where your hands are, Oracle heart. And breathe, breathe right into the center of your heart. Let that weight out the back of the shoulders. Good, between your ribs and out through the front, all directions. Good, hope you have a peaceful, lovely day and I will see you for the sort of same thing tomorrow. Um, thank you very much for joining as always. I'm glad I'm here with you guys. Bye.